what is the uh, reason for a uh, lung cancer in a non smoker you already know about the risks of smoking and tobacco in its various forms but when we speak about cancer in a non smoker what could be the possible reasons for this uh, one reason would be air pollution itself now pollution i mean it could be uh, by way of smoke it could it could be automobile uh, exhaust or it could be fine particulate matter now this fine particulate matter could be uh, occupational exposure or it could be dust itself apart from that uh, there are other factors also which can cause this one is it could be long hours of exposure to uh, a very unhealthy or a uh, unclean air so if you are uh, in a metropolitan cities and you are spending long hours in traffic you are exposed to automobile exhaust the smoke and fine dust particles and also unclean air so this itself could be a risk factor and since you all know that the pollution index of air has been going bad day by day so that again could possibly be a risk factor for all this apart from that work related stress that is another factor so where it can lead to oxidative cell damage which usually what happens is cells suffer a kind of oxidative cell damage by way of stress so when they repair itself that can sometimes set in motion a process which can eventually lead to cancer so that might also be a risk not a stand alone risk but it could be a potential risk when you combine it with other risk factors so another important cause would be occupational hazards for people who are working in uh, factories related to asbestos or if they are in sawmills where there is a exposure long hours and long duration of exposure to uh, fine particulate matter that is again a risk factor uh, you have to understand that uh, good hours of sleep and a continuous good amount of sleep is very important for your cells to regenerate in a healthy manner so that again could be a risk factor food habits of late have been untimely and also there is a lot of pesticide use which we all know now these again could add to the risk factors which i have already mentioned to you